Dear participants and organizers of the conference New Perspectives in Science Education, I am happy for the opportunity to present an experimental teaching case in Vitotas Magnus University Botanical Garden. The title of the presentation is Appliance of Botanical Garden Space and Plant Expositions to introduce topic of bioluminescence and biofluorescence to society. Botanical gardens possess a wide variety of introduced and local flora plant species, endangered, sometimes extinct in natural habitats, young cultivars and old having important historical value plants, but conservation of them cannot succeed without education. Old mature tree is colonized with diverse fungi species and a wide range of introduced plant species attract numerous insects, which provide convenient spaces for education and demonstration of bioluminescent and biofluorescent features of living organisms. Usually botanical gardens have rooms or classes for educational activities, lectures or seminars inside buildings and expeditions, excursions outside in plant collections, and surrounding parks of or arboretums uh, provides a particularly comfortable space for teaching and learning of natural sciences. Society in Lithuania is usually aware of local glowing firefly and sometimes fungi, but has little acquaintance of full diversity of bioluminescent species. Bioluminescence and biofluorescence get little attention in basic school, pre-gymnasium and gymnasium teaching programs of natural sciences. The topic is very convenient tool for STEAM teaching because it combines themes from different subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, geography, ecology and etc. which traditionally are taught separately. Biofluorescence and bioluminescence is a fun and exciting way to teach basic science concepts. Even though basic school teachers know about the meaning and aims of the STEAM's education in detail, they often take neutral attitude towards the actual teaching methods. Participation in experimental learning educational activities in botanical gardens could be useful not only for students in understanding natural science themes, but also for teachers in comprehending how STEAM activities should be organized. Bioluminescence and biofluorescence can help in explaining spectrum of visual light in an attractive way, as organisms glow in various colors, presenting fluorescent proteins, pigments, or explaining luciferin oxidation could be an additional interesting topic in teaching chemistry. Distribution and biodiversity of glowing organisms may intrigue in teaching biology or geography and etc. Bioluminescence and biofluorescence can be presented for listeners of various age, choosing different level of scientific explanations of the origin and functions of this phenomenon. Due to the visual appeal of this phenomena, it is possible to discuss basic photophysical principle in preschool level. Our aim was, for the first time in Lithuania, to apply the space of Vitutas Magnus University Botanical Garden to introduce topic of bioluminescence and biofluorescence to society from preschool children till seniors. Theoretical background is always a must in introducing a new topic. Therefore, an introductory lecture on bioluminescence and or biofluorescence is presented in the beginning of the educational activities. An introductory lecture involves explanation of basic knowledge on light production of living organisms, local and global diversity of glowing species, 
the causes and the functions of such phenomenon, time and conditions for glowing, new applications of phenomenons in science and technology. Some specimens of glowing species might be demonstrated during the lecture in the room, which should have a possibility to control lighting. Best if windows can be covered by dark fabric and lights may be switched off whenever needed. For example, a very effective demonstration attaining much attention is showing fluorescent iosculin released from conker or ash twigs in water in transparent vase or bowl. Also showing fluorescent curcumin from dried turmeric powder sinking in alcohol in transparent container under UV light. Second step, attractive part, night expedition in search of real samples. Participants are given UV flashlights and they go together with the leading educator to botanical garden collections and arboretum at night. Biofluorescent specimens are well visible in dusk or shadow, but for bioluminescent species observation, full darkness is better. Bright summer nights are not convenient for such activity. Educator might show some glowing species examples for participants, but it is much more fun when they find glowing objects themselves and call everybody to see their finding. To strengthen the final impression on the received information, a workshop of creating own bioluminescent, biofluorescent, depends on the pigments and paints used, prototypes is offered as a third step of teaching about bioluminescence or biofluorescence. Prototypes are kneaded from clay, which hardens in contact with oxygen. Photoluminescent pigments and paints are used for bioluminescent because such materials are charged by extra light source and keep glowing until two hours prototype creation. And fluorescent pigments and paints, they glow under UV, are used for fluorescent prototype creation. Participants choose themselves what representative of glowing species to knead and how to decorate it. At the end of this activity, everyone presents his or her glowing prototype and its features, explains why and when it glows. Experiential learning is a process that creates knowledge as the outcome of an experience combined with abstract understanding. Educational activities at Vitotas Magnus University Botanical Garden fulfill the idea of experimental learning. Participants are involved in two activities, critically reflecting and analyzing them, and by received results gaining new providence for the perception change. Participants get meaningful and interesting for themselves learning as they try practical activities, night expeditions searching for real glowing samples and creating their own bioluminescent or biofluorescent prototypes. If time and strength of the participants of the educational activities about glowing organisms let, in the end it is fun to play imitative behavior of biofluorescent organisms by using glowing body painting and discussing what they are meant for, attracting pollinators, repel predators, finding love pan partners, and etc. And now we will present some examples of real bioluminescent or biofluorescent samples found during night expeditions in Vitotas Magnus University Botanical Garden. Here is bioluminescent fungi Armillaria melea, which mycelium glows at night. Here is 
the representative of the glowing centipede Geophilus aesoni or Geophilus carpophagus. It is very difficult to estimate the exact species. We have also found glowing females of firefly Lampiris noctiluca. Here is an example of bioluminescent fungi. Psilocilia fascicularis or Hypholoma fascicularis. Another popular biofluorescent fungi, representatives of the Rusula genus. Here is presented biofluorescent flowers of woody plant Prunus spinosa. Another woody plant, Rus defina, has biofluorescent wood. Resins of pine Pinus sylvestris glow under UV light due to fluorescent terpenoids. Colorful biofluorescent insect Calitera pudibunda grubs can be found in summer, early autumn. In three years, starting since 2017, we have organized several paid and over 20 free seminars lectures with or without prototype creating workshops and night expeditions. Our educators voluntarily worked with different age and interest groups. Preschool children, basic school, pre-gymnasium and gymnasium pupils, university students, employed persons, seniors in retirement, foresters, teachers, artists, educators of natural sciences and etc. Around thousand of participants now are well acquainted with local and global bioluminescent and biofluorescent diversity and their glowing behavior. As a feedback we attain requests to organize more seminars on the topic with following night expeditions and workshops for teachers, pupils and students from all around the country, which shows that experiential learning is well appreciated by Lithuanian society. Thank you for the attention.